right now. That can wait. My baby has to be helped right away. She's acting so weird. Fine, just take her out of the blanket. Out of the blanket? She's in pain. We can't make her cold too. It's like 75 degrees in here. I'm the doctor. I know what cats can handle. Oh my, this is the biggest blanket. All right, let's check her ears first. Okay, Kiki, Kiki. See your ear. What? What if that hurts her? It won't hurt her. It will just tickle her ear a little bit. No, you can't do that. She hates her ears being tickled. You can't push a person in their own office. Get out. What? You can't kick me out? This is my baby. What if something happens to her? I'm a vet. I what? know what she needs. But what if she misses me? And well, what if she runs away? She's really good at that. I have never lost a patient. Now goodbye. I will call on you when she's ready. Guess I'll go to the waiting room. How dare she think I would lose her cat? All right, let me take a look at the patient. Nim? Nim? Kiki? I can't find her. This blanket is really big. She seems to be hiding in there. Here, Kiki, Kiki. Kiki? Uh, uh-oh. This is weird. Um, Mim, 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 are you in that? She ran! <gasps> Where is she? Oh, my poor baby. She's probably so sad without me. And cold. I've got it! Where is she? I miss my cat so much, so I wanted to get her a get well present, a sweater, so she doesn't get cold. Good idea. I'll take it and put it on her. Actually, I think I want to put it on her. She's kind of tricky sometimes. Well, I'm the cat expert. But I'm her mom. Well, I'm the vet. She's my baby. But she'll chase after you if you go and see her again. So give it to me. Fine. Can I just peek in and see how she's doing? No. Fine. Just tell her I love her. I will. She's gone. I win. If I was a cat, where would I go? <gasps> I've got it. She's probably in the bathroom. That's why she left. I need to go back to my office and brainstorm. Think, can you think? If I was a cat, where would I hide? Think, if you were a cat, where would you go? Mim, you can help me. You're a cat. Where would you go if you ran away? Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, Mim. The kitchen, here I come. Wait! Mim! You never ran away! You were the cat I was looking for! You were in my office the whole time. See? I never lose a patient. All right, now let's get to work filling out your charts. Your vet is, well, the greatest vet in the whole wide world, me, 
Dr. Canyon. Done. Now, let's check your heart rate. Alrighty. Um, Mim? Not back there. Under the table? Mim? You're not under here. Huh. I've lost her. Uh, for real this time. Oh no, this is bad. This is very, 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 very bad. I promised her crazy cat lady that I wouldn't lose her. Where could she go? <gasps> the kitchen, that's where she told me she would go. Doctor, oh hi. What are you doing? Hi again. Uh, yeah, sorry, I've been waiting for you here. I didn't know when you were gonna come by again. And it's Mim's lunchtime, so I brought her some snacks. Um, she's not hungry right now. You can just hold on to that for a little bit longer. What? But she's usually hungry this time. It's noon. It's like her second out of like six meals. I'm sure. I'm the professional, right? So listen to me. Stay in there. Stay and don't follow me. And also, don't go in the office. It's closed for all guests. Okay, seems pretty serious. Well, I'll see you soon. I miss my baby. I feel like I can hear her now. Sounds just like her. Just like my cat. Aww, I miss my cat so much. I'm sorry to think all the cats look like her. <gasps> Is that me? Wait, what if that was my cat? Wait, but the doctor has my cat. Does he? Oh no. What if it was me? And she just ran away from me. <sighs> doctor! Ugh, stop doing that! Where's my cat? Oh, your cat. Oh. Um. She's in my office still. Then why did I just see a Sphinx cat that was gray just like Mim and had a pink and yellow band-aid on her head? Oh, you found that cat. That's been running from their owner waiting for its turn. But yeah, where did you see it? In the waiting room? Is that my cat? Oh, no, no, no. They just like matching other cats. Um, did it leave the waiting room by chance? Yes, it did. And she ran that way. Oh, I gotta go! Where is my cat? She's in the office, of course. Don't look in there. Just be in the waiting room and don't follow me. <sighs> I'm gonna go check on my cat. She needs her snack time and her sweater. I know what's best for her. Mim Kitty? Where are you? Mim? Oh no, Mimi, that was my cat! He lost my baby! Mim? Where are you? Mim Kitty? <gasps> Mim! How dare he leave you in here all alone without your sweater on? I'm so glad I found you. I thought you were lost. Mim, where are you? Are you under the blanket? No. Are you behind the pillows? No, are you under the bed? No. No. No, no. No. I checked everywhere in the whole house and she isn't there. I don't know where she is or if she's moving or what. Ah, you didn't scare me. What are you doing in here? I'm taking care of my cat. <gasps> Mim Kitty! There you are! There you are? What do you mean? You didn't know she was in here? You were literally telling me she was in here. Oh, right. I knew she was in here the whole time. Give her to me. I need to check her heart rate. Hmm. Of course her heart is 
beating. Calm down. I'm just listening. Haha, it just sounds great. Okay. What are you doing? You can't put that in her mouth. No, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like stop touching her tongue. You need to stop. You're hurting her. You're hurting my baby mim kitty. That's why I made you leave. Because you're too worried about her. Can you like zip up your mouth and just be quiet? I can't be quiet. What do you mean? Be quiet? Who will speak for men? All right, all right. I've heard enough. Now go. But what if she runs away? And what if we can't find her? What if that cat I saw in the waiting room was actually Mim? And what if she came back? Oh my goodness. I haven't lost her yet, and I won't lose her. Okay, fine. Bye, Mim. I love you. I miss you so much already. I miss you. Oh, now that she's gone, let's get back to work. All right, let's see if there's any problems. All righty, let's see. Um. Um, and so there's no broken bones or any gems, so you're good with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Mim. Mim? Mim! Oh no! I lost her again! Where did she go? Hi, I'm right here! You need to stop doing that! Just want to check on my kitty cat. The problem is that she's not in my office. I don't know where she is. She's lost! And I've lost her three times in a row today. <gasps> so you lied to me? That was my cat earlier, wasn't it? Yes, of course. But I had to lie to because I needed you to think that I was the best doctor. Well, you are the best doctor. You don't need to lie to get people to trust you because lies actually make less trust. <sighs> You're right, I just panicked and now I don't know how to get your cat back. Well, lucky for you, I know exactly how to get her back. No, 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 I'm the animal expert and I don't have anything to do to get her back. She didn't need to go to the bathroom, she didn't want food and that's pretty much all I've tried. Well, that just means you didn't try everything. You may be an animal expert, but I'm a Mim Kitty expert. Follow me. What is a red blanket gonna do? It's just gonna get in the way. Just trust me. Okay. Mim Kitty, I have your favorite red blanket. Come snuggle. Mim Kitty. There she is, grab her. No, 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 no. Trust me, she'll come. Mim Kitty. Come here, Mim Kitty. Oh, good girl. You are the Min Kitty expert. I should have listened to you instead of kicking you out. That's okay, I was just really, really worried about her. I was kind of going crazy. I was a little overbearing, wasn't I? Maybe a bit, but I think I know what's wrong with her. Okay, Mim Kitty. The doctor's gonna be really nice now. Wait, no, no! I'm sorry, you know what you're doing, you got this. Oh, this band-aid was tickling her ears. Yeah, you knew that she didn't like tickles on her ears. And so that's why she was going crazy. I thought she hit her head, so I put a band-aid on. I guess that didn't really help. Now you know that she's perfectly fine. She doesn't have any broken limbs. Thanks, doctor, for helping her. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you have a big thumbs up. Hope oh, smash the subscribe button. button. We love you guys so much as always. You, you are, are worth it. it. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bum, bum.